Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yes, you watching this. Hey, listen, listen, listen. Hear me out. Give me two minutes. I'm going to talk to you real quick. Two minutes. Something I keep preaching, I keep telling you guys over and over and over and over is to operate in your gift. There's something that God has specifically given you that you need to operate in. Now, if you're already operating in your gift, then great. This message is for you. But if you're not operating in your gift, then you need to listen to me real quick. Because at the end of the day, I keep telling you guys, there's something that you're good at, that you do very well, very special, that you need to share with the world. Don't be selfish with it. Now, you might ask, Mark, what is my special gift? I don't know what it is. Hey, you actually have great questions. Now, here's the deal. I always tell you guys, what is something that you're good at that a lot of people struggle with? There's something that you do very well that you do way better than others. Now, you might say, man, is it cooking? It might be. It might be cleaning. It might be mowing grass. It might be singing. It, it, it might be speaking. It might be something that you're actually really good at that Man, you're not operating in. You need to be sharing with the world. Now, let me tell you this. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of Marie Callender, but if you haven't heard it, guess what? I'm going to tell you. Now, Marie Callender was a single mom working at a restaurant. Now, I believe that the restaurants are burgers or something like that, right? But it got to the point where the restaurant owner could not keep up, man, with inflation and everything that's going on. So he was about to shut the restaurant down. Now, Marie Callender had a gift, man. She can bake the most amazing pies. So as a single mom who was already struggling, who needed to keep her job, what did she do? She said, hey, Mr. Restaurant Owner, Hey, can I just bring one of my pies and sell it? So she went home that night, baked the pie, came in the next day. Every single slice of the pie sold out. Why? Because she had a gift. So guess what? People came back the next day and was like, man, we want a slice of pie. Guess what? She already had baked the pie ready for it to go. Boom. Same thing happened. All the slices sold out. So now she had to go back home at that night and say, man, I need to bake more pies. As she started selling more and more and more and more pies, then guess what happened? Man, she sold so many pies, she was able to buy a professional oven. Amazing, right? Now, here's the deal. She made so much money, the restaurant didn't even sell burgers anymore. Guess what they started selling? Pies. Now, it got to the point to where she made so much money, she was able to open up over 120 franchises across this country. You can't go to Albertsons, Walmart, Kroger's, Sprouts, without seeing what in the frozen food section. A Marie Callender pie. So what's the moral of the story? She took her gift. She took something that she was actually good at and she was able to build an empire. She's able to take care of her family. So that's why I'm telling you guys watching this right now, use your gift. I don't care what it is. As you can see, I love speaking. Now, I was a kid that was in, in elementary school and high school and even college where they would put us in group projects and people would be like, all right, you're going to do this and you're going to research and you're going to do this and you're going to do that. But everybody would go, I don't want to present. Well, guess who always wanted to present? I wanted to present. Why? Because I love speaking, preaching, and teaching. This is my gift. So whatever your gift is, I'm telling you to walk in it, learn it, master it, and then use it to bless others. Use it to really change this world. So I'm encouraging you, man, if you have a gift, if you need to identify your gift, identify it and get to work because the more people that you bless, the more people that you serve, the better it is that you can change this world for the better and make sure that God gets the glory. So if you find value in this message, please share, 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 share. Man, make the rest of your life the best of your life and everything you do, always lead with love. Take care.